All right, hello and welcome. This is back biceps and core. So we're gonna go ahead and start with an upper body warm up, step behind and reach. And switch. So hope you're having a great day so far. We will be alternating between back and biceps. They're super set. And then at the end, we're gonna be doing some core and um, some lower back. I was gonna place the hands on your thighs. I'm gonna do the cat and cow breathing, drop the belly until bone goes up. And breathe out, draw the navel to the spine, bring the chin towards the chest. Breathe in and out. Let's do that again, breathe in and out. So now stop right in the middle and bring the shoulder to the opposite knee. Switch and switch. And one more. Now let's go ahead and roll it all the way up. We're bringing the arms to the front palms, the hands down. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades and release. Squeeze and release. Two more. All right, another one. And we're going to do the same thing now. We're going to reach up and do the lat pull down. Bring the elbows down. Four times. Two more. Another one. Now hinge forward at the hips, same movement, like a wide roll. And come all the way up, swimmers forward. And back. Open, close in the front, alternate with your arm goes on top. And our last one is a pivot and a twist. All right, so we are ready to get started. Our first one, and I'll show you some low weights first. We're going to do one deadlift, one row. One deadlift, one row. So you're turning the palm, the hand in and back. All right. Our second one, we're going to do hammer, just going up 80%. Not up to here. No lifting the elbow. Your elbow stay glued to the side. Then we stop at 80%. All right, so for the first one for the deadlift and row, we can go a little bit heavier. So I'm going to go ahead and go 15 for those. All right, let's roll the shoulders back. Pinching forward at the hip, core tight. Come on down nice and slow. And then you go up, almost like a halfway up, and then row. And we'll come a little bit lower, bring that dumbbell to Mid of your shin, and everybody's different with their flexibility. We don't want to keep the knees completely extended. We want to keep the knee is slightly bent. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you lift the weights up. Let's do a couple more. Whew, and come on up. So you felt that whole posterior chain, those that lifts will work a little bit more the lower back. If that was too much for you, your core is still a little bit weak and you feel like that's too intense, we'll stay in the row instead of going all the way down to the deadlift. Well, it's important to strengthen that area, uh, but if you find like it's too much for you at this moment, then you can definitely just skip that part. All right, so for the hammers, we do want to go a little lighter. I did 15. I'm actually going to go with the 10 today. All right, so here you go. Shoulders back, knees soft. Let's bring it up 80%. Elbows glued to the side. Three. No swinging. Four. I mean, none of this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 
Woo, and 10. All right, we'll rest for just about 15 seconds here. Uh, Reevaluate your weights, a great opportunity to stop and think about, okay, so should I go a little heavier? Should I go a little lighter? All right, so let's go. Roll the shoulders back. Start with the deadlift. Stop midway. Row. Now the core needs to be engaged here the whole time. Don't let those shoulders roll forward. All right, let's do one more. Woo. Should feel it on your booty and hamstring as well, posterior chain there. All right, so here we go. Get ready, hammer in three, two, one, and go. So now you may be wondering, mm, one way that you have it, the other one is to light. You can also do a little bit more, all right? Even though we might stop at 10 reps. If you feel like you can do 12, by all means do 12. You don't have to stop at 10 if you're still feeling like you can go a few more. Uh, we are trying to reach 10. But if that doesn't happen also, you stop at eight. You can also, if you have a um, whole variety of weights, you can always drop the weight and do the last two with the lighter weight. I know that most people don't have a whole weight selection like that at home. I right, still a couple more here. But if you do, you know, make use of it like the best way you can. That means just because you pick up one dumbbell in the beginning doesn't mean you have to continue with that one, right? So it's about seeing how your body feels in that moment. Now we have one more set. All right, roll the shoulders back. Here we go, dad, left and go. Nice and control. All right, this is eight. You got a couple more. Let's finish. Woo! Those felt really good. All right, here, my last one here. Shoulders back and he's soft, quite engaged. Lift it up. One more, Woo. and 10. All right, go ahead and rest. Um, I'll show you the next one. This is also a little bit of a combo here. And I'm gonna start with the real light one just to show. We're gonna do a wide roll. And then you turn the hands in. You're gonna do a back straight arm. So now this is not a kick back, all right? Gonna straight, uh, keep the elbow extended and press it back, okay? Um, so it's a wide and straight arm press back. Wide. That's our first one. Our second one, we're gonna do a wide curl. 
So now, if you were only doing the wide rows, you'd probably be able to get a little heavier. But since we're doing that straight arm, press back, you might not be able to do it too heavy. I'm gonna try to do a 10. So test it out and see how that feels. Oof, that's challenging. Uh, I'll try, we'll see. All right, so here we go, ready? Cage forward of the hip, wide rows. Palm of the hands facing each other, straight arm back. So now we do wanna make sure we still focus on squeezing the back muscles. You should also, you're gonna feel this on the triceps as well. Uh, so you may not be able to feel as well if you're going too heavy. You might wanna switch it up. Like I am going to do my next round. And if you are tensing up the neck or you're starting to swing a little bit, I just caught myself doing a little bit of a swing there. Trying to overcompensate, that happens. So then definitely go lighter. Our last one. Whew, yeah, that was too heavy for me this time. But I'm gonna keep it for my wide curls. All right. Arms to the side, elbows in, and go. Full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. We are making sure that we are not curling the wrist on top. Also, we're not lifting the elbow up. The elbow stays in. Got five more. One more. Woo. All right, so I am switching these to lighter weight. Going down to eight. All right, so here you go. Let's try this out. Wide rows, ready? Straight arm, press back. Now we have one more. All righty, come on up. Oh, that was so challenging. Wide curls, get ready. Get set and go curl it up, curl it up. All the way up, all the way down. Eight, <laughs> a couple of more. Last one, woo, all right. Got one more, just a 15 second rest here. All right, I am keeping the eight for this next one. So here we go, roll the shoulders back, hinge at the hip, wide rows, straight on, press back. One more. Ah. Oof. 
And here we go, white curls. And we'll take a little bit of a water break after this one. Ready, set, and go. One more. Woo! Ah, hot potato, put those down. All right, we're gonna take a little break here. Drink some water. Now, I get a lot of questions sometimes. People ask me, what do I do if you're like, I'm so this way, my posture is so bad. This is it, what we're doing today, that's what fixes that, okay? Because we are this way so much all the time, we straighten this area a lot, we shorten. So it's important to open up. So we open up by stretching those areas in the front, but by strengthening the part on the back. So that's super important. So when I was like, I don't want to do back and biceps day, remember this. All right, so our next is also a compound movement here. We're going to hinge forward. So we have the um, lend my rows two back flies. So in and out. Now when you bring it in, the elbows are in. When we go out, the elbows are extended. Okay? All right, so let's do it. I'll show you the biceps after this one. Ready, set, and go. So when you bring those dumbbells in, they can be against each other, pressing, and bring it in towards your chest and belly. It's like your hand is coming right into your upper abs here. All right, still one more. All right. So for our curls, we're doing small circles, five in, five out. Okay? I gotta eat here. All right, ready? Set and go. So the elbow stay in two, three, four, five. Reverse it. One, two, three. Four and five. You didn't think those are gonna hurt so bad, right? Ah. All right, let's get ready. Now you know how it goes. You can go a little heavier. Um, I think I might try to go a little bit heavier on this. Okay, getting the tent. All right, ready? Lend my rows and go. Reverse wise. All right, and time. Small circles, elbows in, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, ouch. Oof. That burn. All right, one more time. Here we go. Land my to flies. Ready, set, go.
Last one. Woo. Small curls, little circles. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Done. All right, it's not done, done, done yet. You're gonna come to the floor. All right, so first one, we're going to do the Aquaman or Aquawoman. So you have the elbows extended. And we're gonna alternate. Now this can be a slow swimming on the water, but this can be a little bit faster. All right, so we're gonna count 10 each side. We're gonna count a total of 20. So this should go by pretty fast. We'll sit back on child's pose, okay? All right, here we go. Let's strengthen up those lower backs. Let's get ready. Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I probably did 30 because we're alternating sides. All right, now place your hands underneath the shoulder, press it back, and sit on child's pose to stretch. You're gonna lay on your back. We're gonna do an alternating, reaching for your toes. So is that an alternating V-ups, okay? Arms above your head, you're laying down. Now if that's too much for you, bend one knee. You can bend both knees, reach. Reach, you can even have one hand behind your head right here. All right, so it's 10 total, five each side. Ready, set, and go. Two more. Woo. All right, bring it to your chest for a second here. And we're gonna turn around on our stomach. Aqua woman. Alternating, starting in five, four, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I press back, child's pose. Highly down your back. Extend those knees or keep the knee bent out above your head. We're gonna do this half sit up. We don't have to sit up all the way, okay? Just half kind of sort of halfway if you can. Ready? And go. Woo, he's really burned. One more. Ah, I really felt these. Ah. All right, one more, one more round. Here we go, get ready, get set. Aqua woman, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit back. Stretch. All right, and release. Sit on your back. Last one. Arms above your head and go. Half sit up. Reach for your toes. Woo. 
Try not to use the momentum. Peel your body off the mat. Don't rush. I'm still on five here. You want to really feel this nice and control. Whew. And I feel it. One more. Woo. Ah, I felt those. All right, bring my knees to your chest. Hi, right, how did you feel these? Did you feel these a lot as much as I did? <laughs> Let me know. Ah. All right, allow your knees to drop out to one side, arms out. Now it's feeling so tight. I've been feeling so tight lately. So this morning I had some time, somebody canceled last minute. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna take the whole hour to stretch. Oh my goodness, it makes such a difference. So take a whole hour to stretch. Look for a yoga video. And do that because that is really important. I right, go ahead and rock to a seated position. You're gonna reach up and over. Do that nice stretch on your lats. And then let's do the other side. Now interlace your fingers on the front, bring the chin towards the chest. Anyways, both arms up. We're gonna stretch the biceps on the front, uh, the side. Interlace your fingers on the back. All right, let's go ahead and come on up. Stay good time. And let's finish it up with three deep breaths. Here we go. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more in. And out. And last one. All right, great job. Thanks so much for joining me here. Let me know how you did. And I'll see you next time.